Hello, I'm Damien Beaumer, and I've been a manager of a small family business since 2005. This company's aim is to develop hempcrete in the field of construction. What sets the Beaumer business apart is that we spend a lot of time researching and developing hempcrete to help us find alternative ways of building. A lot of building is done using mineral materials and since there is a lack in biosources, hempcrete is a great alternative. My supply of hemp comes from the cooperative Eurochanvre, which is based in the town of Gré, about one hour from here. And now you will see a presentation by Gilles Chanet from the company Eurochanvre, who is standing in front of a magnificent hemp field. My name is Gilles Chanet, and I'm in charge of the hemp sector at the cooperative Interval. The company Eurochanvre was founded in 1994. It's a branch of the cooperative Interval, whose objective is to transform the hemp material which is produced by the farmers who are part of this cooperative and of the neighbouring ones. The aim of Eurochanvre is to transform hemp straw before the seeds have been harvested by the machines belonging to farmers or to the cooperative. We harvest the hemp seeds which used to be used to feed birds and which is now also used in food products. It's one of the best oils on the market today as it's very rich in omega-3 and 6. The straw is harvested around 10 days after the combine harvester has finished in the field. This allows retting to take place, which makes it easier for the fibres to be separated at the factory. We use everything in hemp except the roots. In our factories, hemp straw can be made into fibre, which is used as plastic in the car industry. This fibre can replace fibreglass. The plastic can be injected into different car parks, such as dashboards. The hemp herds can be used differently. It was first used for animal litter, and we also use it now in mulching. We are also using it more and more in the building trade in a variety of ways. In spraying, shuttering, and making blocks. The hemp herds are mixed with binder, which improves insulation both in winter and summer. They make houses which are healthy and which breathe, and that is something that homeowners greatly appreciate. The third important part which comes from this transformed product is dust. This is used in methanization, so nothing is wasted, we use everything in this plant. I built the company in 2005. At the beginning, I gradually introduced hempcrete into small constructions and the renovations I did. People didn't really know much about it, and in a way, I had to fight to get people interested in this product.
Since I'd been wanting to work on hempcrete for a long time, I invented an interlocking hemp block in 2009. This was taken over by a French company. In 2014, I invented a new machine to spray hempcrete, which is called AirEasy. This ensures the most efficient hemp in terms of heat insulation, as the whole purpose, after all, is to minimise the thickness of walls and reduce quarrying. By putting much less binder into the hemp, we can make much more effective and ecological concrete. We made our first attempts in 2014. These were not particularly successful. It took a lot of time and brain power before we managed to make a small spray machine like this one. It's a lot cheaper than the ones on the market today and lets people make hempcrete who aren't used to making it. A special feature of this machine is that it sucks in the hempcrete before spraying it, so it works by a vacuum. To achieve this, we needed to invent a very specific binder which could keep the cohesion while the hempcrete was being sucked in. What I mean by that is due to the difference in density of the binder, the hemp herd and the water, we had to create a cohesive system. And it's this binder, AirEasy 120, which was elaborated by the company LCG in Marseille. We only put 33 pounds of binder for 44 pounds of hemp and this allows us to make a very hempcrete which has a very low density and a strong insulating capacity. And now we'll have a presentation on the binder AirEasy by Charles Lisbonis who works for the company LCG in Marseille. Hello. I'm Charles-Henri Lisbonis, the owner of the company Lisbonis Chocos. We are a family company established in Marseille since 1785 in the 18th century. According to our location, we were first of all brought to intervene on local markets. Our position, both of prime importance, was the lowest to continue our development throughout the Mediterranean countries. The rise of the city the capital of the French colonial empire has led us to turn to the far exports, Africa, Middle East, Asia, Indian Ocean, America, to make the European type of architecture endure under different and often extreme climates. During more than two centuries, our main activity was the production of lime, at the beginning destined exclusively to the building markets, and starting the 50s to different industrial users steel, aluminium paper, water treatment, chemicals and others. In the 90s, we have decided to shift from lime production to formulation and production of lime plasters. The raw materials needed for buildings for construction and renovation weight heavily on the ambition of sustainable development. Vegetal concrete and eco-friendly building materials are therefore an effective answer to this problem. That's why, after several years of research and testing, we have developed several products based on lime and biosource raw materials. And of course, the binder LZ 120 in collaboration with Damien Beaumaire. Our goal was to develop a binder workable with the LZ projection system and to allow the lowest possible mixing ratio binder aggregates to minimize the carbon impacts. It was also a request of Damien. We have reached the target. The LEC 120 allows us to perform dosages at 75 kilo per cubic meter, which is currently the lowest dosage used in France and perhaps in the world. Regarding the performances, we obtained a density of 205 kilo per cubic meter, a lambda of 0.03, and a phase shift duration of 5.2 hours for a thickness of 10 cm. Those measures were carried out by the National School of Public Works, based in Lyon, whom we would like to thank, and in particular Frédéric Salé and Stéphane Hans, for their time and support. 
For such low dosages, the complexity was to reach the mechanical resistances needed at 60 and 90 days. To succeed, we have decided to use the natural prompt cement of Vika, mainly known for its fast drying and the ability of the binder to obtain high initial resistances. The main positive advantage, but also one of its weak points, is its quick drying, too fast for use it as such. The RZ120 is formulated with more than 75% of natural cements. Therefore, the only addition of a hydrated lime is not enough to slow down the drying. That's why we have to use all the additives, mainly mineral but also vegetal, in order to control the drying of the binder. In addition to the LZ projection system, LZ120 is one of the more efficient binders for MCRIT technology. I hope that this short presentation was quite clear. In case not, we stay at your disposal for any additional information by phone or by mail. We would be also very happy to receive you in our factory in Marseille to present our large range of plasters for renovation, decoration and insulation. See you soon, folks! We are currently working on validating the couple Binder and Hemp Hertz with the two companies Eurochambre and LCG, which is based in Marseille. And now we'll have a presentation by Frédéric Salé from the School Territorial Sustainable Development near Lyon. first binder was tested for two different dosages and the performance obtained was already very promising but still insufficient. Then, a series of tests on different variants of binders made it possible to optimize the chemical composition of an effective binder. The resulting binder makes it possible to produce hemp concrete with a very low binder content. This concrete has higher mechanical characteristics than the French recommendations. It also has very good thermal performance with a lambda of 0.06. Finally, its low binding content greatly limits its ecological impact. We are constantly improving the AirEasy system. Research and development are a main part of the company. After developing several prototypes, we invented the AirEasy kit, which is a spraying kit. It works with an air compressor and mixer, which all winter builders can own. So you don't need to buy a big machine, just a spraying kit. This is where the AirEasy kits are made. These kits are made at a local metalworks in a town called saint -Vite. This is Damien Gentelet, a metal worker who makes the air easy machines. They're made here, there's no transport, there's no raw material, everything is made here on our site. It's hard to get more local than that. This year the company developed its new spray pipe made of recycled plastic no less. We used a huge 3D printer to make it and it will help us finalize all of these different elements. The next research will be on the diverging part of the end of the pipe. And the 3D printing happens here in our workshop. Absolutely everything is made here, the machines, the pipes, everything. The binder and the machines are mostly being developed internationally. The fact that hemp has become particularly widespread has made these products of particular interest to many countries. Today we have machines in North America, Germany, France of course and in Ireland. The binder goes from Marseille to these countries. What's important to know is that the binder can be used to make hempcrete without the use of the machine. It can be placed manually as we can see here. We don't need the machine to use it. I went to Ireland in April last year to take part in a workshop. 
It was a very interesting construction site and the people were interested in the hempcrete and happy to, to discover this system. I went to Germany this year to take the first machine to a company called Hemp und Kalk. This company is planning to develop the hemp market in Germany and Europe in general. It was a great opportunity for them to discover this product. Last July, the beautiful Best Camp in Idaho saw the Air Easy machine for the first time. We shared a lot with people who were extremely interested in this type of ecological material. I still work on construction sites today as I think it's very important to know what you sell. Making and selling is one thing, but applying it yourself lets you know the strengths and weaknesses of the product and things which might need to be changed. The fact that I still work on many construction sites allows me to make progress on the subject. Construction sites take up about 50% of my time. The other 50% of my time is dedicated to research and development of this system. <laughs> <laughs> and one day, 51 cannabis leaves where we place the stars in the American <laughs>